Hi Aries, welcome to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma, and this is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 2021. I'm on vacation, so our setup is a little bit different, you guys. Um, we're going to be taking a look at what you can expect this month as far as soul growth, possible challenges, what you need to overcome. All right. Um, if at any time this reading resonates with you and you're interested in a more detailed, personalized reading, uh, please check out the Etsy link in my description box below. Also, I post readings during the week live on Instagram. And if that's something that you would like to see, the handle to my Instagram is in the description box below as well. Let's go ahead and get started. Mother, Father, God, Holy Spirit. Thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Aries in regards to their current life situation and life path. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, understanding, and healing. As well as a higher perspective on what soul lessons and soul cycles Aries may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are, and all that you do, and all that I, ooh, and all that I am, and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, my loves, let's see what we have coming in and what spirit has to say. Holy Spirit, what is the overall spiritual message of guidance? What is the overall spiritual message of guidance for Aries? All right, let's see what we have. Sorry about that. Let's see. We have Romans 12, 12 and Philippians 4, 6 through 7. So let's see. Romans 12, 12. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. All right. On the back, it says to pray is to mount on eagles' wings above the clouds and get into the clear heaven where God dwells. Philippians 4, 6 through 7, do not be anxious about anything. The peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Be assured if you walk with him and look to him and expect help from him, he will never fail you. So Aries, I feel here that spirit is communicating with you. First of all, you have two red cards. So this is letting me know that your base chakra, root chakra, okay, um, is going through upgrades and healing. I feel that you may have particular low vibrational thoughts regarding a situation, something that you're concerned about, how it's going to turn out. Um, I feel that you are being asked to wait. You're seeking an answer about something or you're wanting something to take place okay and it's taking a little bit longer um, and there is fear regarding the situation when i say fear um, that can be worry okay wondering why something isn't happening okay for some of you this could be about a particular person and or relationship and if it's you know going to work spirit is with you and they're asking you not to be anxious they're wanting you to try very hard to find the the joy and the peace uh, in your current moment, not to be so stuck on the future, not to be stuck in the past, but to be here right now, what is happening. Um, and to continue your, your prayers and continue to see the blessings and abundance around you, Aries. Okay. So let's see, what do we have? Oops. What flew out? Spiritual strength flew out. How beautiful is that? This is another validation and reminder from, from spirit for you. Um, I do feel for some of you, I'm getting a, a, like a, a crossroads here or like a line in the sand where some of you 
know which way to go. You're very calm. You're very at heart. You are trusting and believing and you're able to let go of fears. And then I'm feeling this other energy for Aries where although you have received blessings and you do trust um, in God, you know how the universe works. You know how powerful your creator is. There's a tinge of anxiety and fear that it's not going to happen the way that you want. And the message that I'm getting from spirit here for you, Aries, is you're absolutely right. It isn't going to work out the way that you want. It's going to be better. It's going to happen in the way that God wants, which transcends and extends above what you are capable of, of even dreaming for yourself. So that your, your anxiety is because your soul knows what's coming and how amazing and big it's going to be. And spirit is asking you to, to, to flip that. Don't be fearful. It's not a bad thing coming. It's a very beautiful, wonderful thing that's coming in. Okay. So we have sacrifice. All right. Sacrifice. Third eye chakra. You have rejoice in celebration. And on the bottom is crown chakra. Okay, so you are going through um, a transformation here. What do we have underneath here? Hope. So you're going through 717, if that number means anything to anyone. Um, you have 12, 6, and 3. 3 here twice. Okay, so 6. Um, interesting. Very interesting. There's a lot of changes taking place for you, Aries. Sacrifice. You may have had to walk away from something recently. Um, you've seen something more clearly. You're seeing things differently. Your perception is, is actively rising and changing. Okay, there's a lot of um, awakenings happening in your upper realm. Okay, so your third eye and your crown chakra. A lot of you may have been receiving divine messages, synchronicities. Okay, if you've been seeing any numbers um, <clears throat> or any, I'm, I'm getting... Some, somebody here has a thing with coins, with somebody that uh, passed away in their family. There's a thing with coins. So whoever that is, is for, please know that they're coming through with a message for you, um, that they're here. But I want you to understand that what seemed very difficult, this was a painful thing, the sacrifice here that you just had to go through. This was you really releasing something. Um, a hummingbird just flew up to my window right here, like literally as right there. So if, if, if a hummingbird means anything to you, that is, if you guys even could see where I'm at, you would see how bizarre it is that a hummingbird just came up here. Um, so know that something big is taking place. Whatever you had to sacrifice, whatever you had to walk away from, all of the things that you've gone through, the lessons, the culmination of everything happened for you. You are ascending. I think a lot of you have found a lot of peace. I want you to notice how the colors in that rainbow that are shooting out of her head are the two chakras too that came out for you. The beginning and ending here of that rainbow. So I feel that you see life differently, Aries. Okay. There's something very exciting taking place for you. Um, I think it's going to catch you by surprise. Tell me about this sacrifice. What, what is the sacrifice about here for Aries, please? You guys could be experiencing dizziness, headaches, fatigue. Okay, some migraines here, a lot of nausea. Here we go. So yeah, something had to end. Something that I feel you worked on for a long time. This could even be a relationship. Um, but you went through this phase of really feeling like you were losing it all, Aries. Okay. Um, and you've been provided an opportunity of a break, a pause. Okay. And this time spirit wants you to, to enjoy this pause with a lot of joy. They want you to see how far you've come. Look at everything you've planted. Look at what's about to harvest for you. It's almost time. Okay. Um, and through this break, through this pause where you can reflect on your life and your life, um, situations and circumstances and seeing the growth that you've had here, Aries, it's moving you into this, this clearer vision with the third eye and crown chakra activation. Um, it's, I want to, there we go. It's moving you into this energy of a deep understanding and knowing 
you see life differently you understand how things work you're connecting with the divine you're receiving downloads you're receiving guidance you're very very open right now okay and through you noticing and recognizing your blessings and just kind of going with the flow this month you're going to be met with the three of cups of rejoice and celebration so there's some type of activity or celebration that's coming in for you that is going to be very beneficial it is something that was given to you from the divine i feel that there will be people there that you are very close to this is like your soul tribe okay people who have been with you from the beginning who support you look at that with the five of pentacles yeah so there's healing taking place here after this pause with the hanged man where you become enlightened with with the third eye so there is a a, a period of and I feel this is in the past, this five of pentacles, where you were feeling very left out as though you were losing everything. That's all coming to an end. That's all culminating. And you're entering a new phase, a new cycle here, because right underneath the hanged man, we have the 10 of pentacles and the six of cups. So for some of you, this could be a um, connection with somebody from your past. Okay. Um, where there was a pause and you may realize and recognize that this person, um, has been really loyal to you or has your back and there therein lies a connection or relationship that starts to form okay so again you may have had to go look at this where the five of pentacles here's the three of cups it's right here so th this is spirit really saying you need to be patient right now in this time of affliction be joyful in your hope don't be anxious because everything is about to shift and change for you Aries, you're going through, and I feel especially in February, you're about to experience a massive shift in your physical reality, and it's going to place you in a, a new direction, a new life. Okay, Aries, thank you so much. If any of this resonates with you, please check out the link below, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon.